Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the first plan with me in March. Yeah, it's only one day into March, but we're gonna call it March because I'm over winter and I'm so ready for spring. And this kit is just so beautiful and I thought it was the perfect kit to start off March because not only is it green, but it's got some like, just, I, I love the vibes of this kit. I think it's just beautiful. Here is the full box page and it has this beautiful quote and I just love the overlays on this page. It's just so beautiful. This is called Plant Mom from Sadie Stickers. I do have a code for her shop and a new freebie. So if you are interested in that, um, I will leave all that info down in the description. So we've got the full box page. Then we have the um, like boxes page really. Now this is the old format. This kit has been since reformat. Well, not the kit, but the newer kits are reformatted. So this page is kind of the old format. And then we've got the bottom washi and the day covers and some more labels and stuff. I also have the bow headers here. And then she threw in the B6 kit to share with you guys. So I might pull in some of these things too, especially like these foiled checklists and some more boxes, things like that. So I'm excited to get started on this. It's just, I've been holding onto this kit for literally months and I'm just ready to use it. So let's jump right in. So for the bottom washi, I have the two strips from the kit. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of white space between them and I'm going ahead and whiting out all of the lines because they are kind of light colored. So I'm using the kind of brick pattern first and then I'm going to leave just a little bit of space and put down this. It looks like a green marble to me or like a, I don't know, like an oil slick kind of um, pattern. And they both have like a pretty kind of sparkle with the gold on there. And then I'm going to use this light gray for my um, bow headers across the top. I just kind of wanted to bring in a different color, although I do love the greens. And I definitely didn't want to bring in the pink because I just wanted to go like all out with the neutrals and the green. So for the date covers, I'm going to use just some basic um, numbers from Sadie stickers. And I'm just going to place those onto my date covers. So this was the first week in March in my planner, but only one day is actually in March, which is Sunday, and it is the leap year. Did y'all do anything fun for your leap day? I, I did not. I just treated it as a normal day, but I do think it's fun when people do something fun for leap year. Like um, one of my friends got married on um, leap day and she has her wedding anniversary every few years, but uh, I don't know when they celebrate. If they celebrate like the 20th or the 30, no, the 28th or the 1st on most years, but I think it is a fun concept. All right, we're going to move on to the sidebar. So I did white out the, um, the <laughs> hexagon there and put down this full box. Now, you won't see it in this video, but you will see it in photographs on Instagram. Um, I messed up the paper on my monthly spread, which is the page before this, and that box actually got messed up on this side. I don't know how it happened. It's never happened before. I don't know what I did. I used a bunch of undo to try to fix my monthly spread, and I don't know if it was like a bad reaction between the undo and the whiteout, I don't know, but it like rippled kind of. I wish I could figure out what I did because I definitely don't want to do that again. Okay, so I put my cleaning list down at the bottom. That's from Nikki plus three. And then I'm putting in one of these checklists from the B6 kits. The new format of the kits actually has these checklists in it. But since I am using an older format, um, it did not. But since I had the B6 kit available, I just went ahead and used it. So I just put in a little label here and I'm just jotting down a couple of things that I wanted to work on during this week. And then I put down this little half box. I'm going to mark um, that it's so many weeks until spring break. I'm kind of counting down to that and I'm really excited for spring break mainly because I just, I need a break. 
and it would be nice to see some of my family and stuff during that time. So I just filled in with my habit trackers and one of those little um, headers there. Okay, so it's technically um, this week plus two more weeks, but I don't know. I haven't really figured out how to mark that, like countdown wise, but I put two weeks. It's actually this week and two more weeks. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start. I'm just kind of looking back to see where I want to place my full boxes and what has worked in the past. So I put this one with the quote over there on Sunday. And then I just placed a few more down. I really like the one on Tuesday. I think it's beautiful. And I have the album that is, um, that looks like that. All right, I'm just grabbing some school labels. These are from Virgo and Paper, as are all of my script stickers. And I'm just throwing those down for my school section at the top. And I'm placing them a little bit lower just so I can see the bows on the headers. And then while I'm there, I'm just grabbing some more script stickers. Again, these are all from Virgo and Paper. They're kind of my favorite. Okay, next up, I'm just kind of organizing a bunch of crap. So I'm going to do all of my school activities first. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to, no, I'm going to, okay, I remember now. <laughs> yes, I have been doing this for a week or two, and I'm really enjoying um, kind of just doing all of my school stuff across the top for first so that I just get that out of the way and I don't forget anything. Um, when I try to do it day by day, it just kind of like I leave things out or I miss things, and I don't like that, so... I'm just focusing on my school things first and that personalized coffee cup is from the crafty banana her rainbow ones have just shipped and i'm so excited to get those for march so i just marked a couple of things here prepping for the week which just means making sure that everything is ready for the entire week because my weeks tend to get busy so i like to have everything ready ahead of time and then this week they were doing some testing at the school so I kind of mark that each week on or each day on Tuesday. I did read a um, test for a student and I just marked that and then I'm using these little clips to mark all of that TSI testing for every day. So on Wednesday, I just made a little tiny checklist to put in just to kind of mix it up and save a little space. And then I'm just going to mark the testing again. So I'm just putting in a couple of reminders here to do my lesson plans and update my Google Classroom. So on to Thursday, I'm going to again mark that testing and a couple of other things. This was a little bit different week because um, we had a work day on Friday, so everything was kind of shoved up into earlier points in the week. So I'm gonna grab another of my um, coffee cups in a moment. I'm just using this as a divider. I find also if I do all of my school stuff first, I really, um, can figure out where to put my full boxes a little bit better. I'm just using this little Fox and Pip Girl for marking a meeting that I had. It was like a webinar. And then we had this vape program where these nurses came and talked to the kids about vaping and like all of the terrible things that come from that. It's like scary. And me, the teachers, and like the kids were really affected by it. It was intense. But it was really good and the presenter was kind of funny so it was entertaining as well okay i'm just putting in this fox and pip girl she's got her little like hoodie on and her jeans and that is to mark my work day i 
I knew that I definitely wanted to use this full box, so I threw that on Friday. Okay, so now I'm just kind of whiting out some lines and putting in a couple more full boxes. And I use these to um, separate my school section, but also I just like to stagger them. So it's helpful to have all my school stuff up there first before I decide where my full boxes go. And I just decided to white out all of the lines. Okay, now we're going back to like my plans when it comes to like home stuff. I'm just using some labels here to figure out how to mark my videos and I'm going to use these little play buttons from Magic Prints Co. I got these years ago so I don't know if they're still available but I do like them and I'm trying to use up some things from my stash. So Monday was my plan with me and then Tuesday was a Moxie Life plan with me and I did some doodling. It was really fun. And then Friday was my February haul. And then I'm gonna put in this half box for my workout for this day. I only had two chiropractic appointments, so I was having them like on um, Mondays and Wednesdays, but now it's changed a little bit. So I'm only gonna have one appointment this week. I'm grabbing these from Planner Kate, and I'm just gonna grab one of the darker green ones. And then I'm grabbing the hair washing ones as well, also from Planner Kate. So I put in a little um, header there as a divider between my school and home things. And then I put in my little chiropractor label because I went straight after school. Actually, I did go to TJ Maxx that day, but I didn't buy anything and it was a very, very quick trip. So I'm putting in this little flag for tidying up. And then I'm gonna put in a half box for my workout. Just kind of shifting some things around because I didn't like the placement, but this works much better. And I wanted to just put in a little note here to do my taxes, which I did actually get them done a little earlier than this, but that's okay. They are done now. And then on Wednesday, I put in my little hair washing sticker and that half box is for my workout for that evening. So on to Thursday, I am putting in, I have this little label here. And then another label. I always have like a bunch of little Thursday to-dos. That label at the bottom is for my workout for that day, which ended up being a walk because the weather was so nice. And I wanted to note here with this little bow icon that I um, wanted to meal plan that evening. And then the little heart is to remember to call my mom. All right, and then we're gonna move on to Friday. So I'm putting this in this label here to mark um, kind of my little stretching that I've been doing every Friday as kind of like relaxation slash like getting in some movement. And then I'm just laying down some more half boxes as placeholders for events. So I thought about using this um, big checklist from the B6 kit, but I didn't think about where I was gonna put that full box that looks very similar to it. So. I just nixed that in lieu of an actual checklist. So 
So I'm starting with a checklist up there at the top and then I'm going to bring in um, a flag with the film sticker. I wanted to just kind of make it look a little bit cuter this week so I put in a little camera as well. I think that layering looks really cute. And then that half box is for my workout on Saturday which was another walk. I'm back up to three miles which is nice. I think I'm gonna go for a hike tomorrow. And then I used one of the boxes from the B6 kit. Um, I kind of psyched myself after, out after this because I was nervous that I wouldn't have enough room on Sunday, no, Saturday. So I did end up taking that up, but I did put it back down as the week went on. I'm having trouble with these Planner Kate hair washing stickers because they are kind of large. So I decided to cut this one kind of like I have done in the past couple weeks just to kind of reposition the words from the little icon there and I have a little bit more room. I am just making this look a little more fancy by layering that script sticker over a header. And then I dug out my little bows. These are the kind of uh, more whimsical ones and I'm just adding them to different things that I feel like kind of need a little something extra. These are so cute. Especially on those coffee cups, they just look adorable. And then I'm just gonna finish up here by filling in my little checklists here on Saturday and Sunday. All right, here is what we have so far. I'm thinking about maybe switching out this box for the shorter B6 one, but this is just looking so beautiful. I love it. I forgot to mention that like I am the worst plant mom of all time. Either my cats are going to kill it or I'm going to kill it. <laughs> so I don't actually have any live plants in my house. I'm thinking of maybe fixing that this summer, but all of my plants are outside because my cats and I are murderers of all plants. But this is so pretty. This is what I aspire to. So it's going to be pretty to look at throughout the week. So I will be back in a minute to show you the almost finished spread. So we are at the end of the week and this is just looking so pretty. I love the foil this week. I haven't used foil in a couple of weeks. So it was nice to just kind of go all shiny with it. It is so beautiful and green. I love the greens in this kit. I need spring and this is a really, really great kit to usher in spring. Let me show you what I have left in the kit itself. So I've got um, barely anything on that page. A couple of full boxes there, a few labels. Um, this is the B6 kit. I actually used quite a bit of this. Um, there we go. And then I used a full set of bow headers. I used a lot of that page and not very much of this one because I was using a lot of the B6 kit. And that's it. So. This week was a really, really good week. This is Saturday when I am filming, so I do need to work out, which I think is gonna be a walk. I did already work on my March goals. Those are ready and prepped. I'll be filming my monthly spread in a little bit, so I've got my tending list here, and I'm ready to go. I'm actually using a CD Stickers um, a monthly kit of March one. It's so gorgeous, can't wait. So yeah, this was a great week. The workday was amazing because it was actually fun. We had a lot of meetings, but all of them were pretty good. And we had a lot of laughter. We had a happy hour last night. This program was amazing. It was put on by these nurses and they was just super engaging. And I learned so, so much about all kinds of things, but I just love this. I think it is gorgeous. I did, um, 
kind of meet my health goals this week. And I'm hoping to go for a hike tomorrow. So that's looking ahead. Um, this will probably be a whole lot of nothing, just getting ready for the next week. And then tonight I am exhausted and I am sore and I just need to relax. So I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. So this is the spread. I hope that you loved this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.